cute DIY for you all today. They're just little coffee mugs, tea mugs. You can turn them into little gifts. You can wrap them in a cellophane bag, put goodies in them, even a gift card. But I, this was the way that I transferred the deer decal onto the, onto the mug. I was inspired actually by the little deer that I had printed for my pillows that I'd made. And I will link the card up above so that you can see what I'm speaking about. But I wanted that little deer on my coffee mug and this is the only way that I could come up with it using Dollar Tree products. I would love to hear how you um, have seen or have done this um, in a simpler or easier way. This was the way that I kind of made it work. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the process and love how these turn out and that you're able to make them for yourselves as well or as gifts. Till next time, take care everyone and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm using these mugs from Dollar Tree. So they're quite large. And we're going to put a decal right on the face of the mug. So you can put it on both sides or just one. I've chosen one side. And I've printed some of my favorite prints off Google Images. And I made sure I just kind of printed it to the size that I would like it to be transferred onto the face of the mug. So I've traced out onto the clear transparent um, shelf liners, which are called the magic covers at the Dollar Tree and I'm using this as a stencil. So you'll see that I pinch the image in half to give it a little snip in the middle and that way I can start cutting inside the image and then getting an actual stencil made. So at this point you're going to kind of position where you would like it on your mug and then remove the backing and use the sticker as your stencil. At this point I used my fingers and I made sure to press out any of the air pockets and then when I got to the certain corner there, um, because your the mug is rounded, this is always tricky with stickers to get it nice and even. So what I did was I just took a little snip and I wanted to make sure that it flattened out so I used my nail just to press down all the little crevices and and make sure that there's no little openings for the paint to get under. So you see how it's all nice and flat here. Once that was ready to be filled in, I am using a deco color paint marker that I ordered on Amazon and these were not very expensive, maybe $6. I will link it down in the description below. So if you'd like to use the same one, it is a gold foil. You're welcome to use a Sharpie marker as well that you can find at Michael's and use a discount coupon on. Um, however, I just love the gold foil on this. I have used a Sharpie, the gold Sharpie for Michaels, but it doesn't have the sheen that this has. It's more of a matted gold. And this one was just absolutely beautiful. I love the way it turned out. Now I wanted a little tree print as well, so I printed this off Google Images. As and then I traced it. Now the easiest way to trace this one was actually up against the window, the light. If you have even like a clear cutting board and maybe putting some light underneath it, you can do it that way. But I just put it up against the window and traced it out. So again, I uh, pinched the little image in half to get that slit started off. And then I just kind of worked my way up and down, cutting out the inner part there of this stencil. Once it's ready, I position it on the mug and I'm just choosing the one face of the mug. You can use the stencil twice and put two images, one on the front, one on the back. Now with this tray, be extra careful because there's quite like some thin pieces there of the stencil. So just firmly press it all down, making sure you're removed all the air bubbles and again I sliced the bottom there of the little tree and then made sure I lined up the little trunk and it's perfect so that when it painted it wouldn't be out of line. So at this point you want to be sure that you're firmly pressing down the entire adhesive and then when you're filling in with the colored marker you want to brush with the stencil, not against any of the pieces of the stencil. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll lift 
the adhesive and then your marker will just kind of glob under and you don't want that happening so once you finish filling it out you'll see that it dries pretty fast but I did wait about 20 to 30 minutes just to be sure that when I was lifting and peeling back the adhesive I wasn't lifting any of the paint so I love how it turned out it's so shiny and gold and uh, this is done here with the stencil so now you'll see when you peel back it just comes out and it's just so nice and clean and detailed I absolutely love it and this deer is so cute it looks adorable on the little pillows that we made and now it looks so nice on this mug so you'll see there that I'm going to point out it has a little bit of um, some escaped marker that went underneath the adhesive so I dipped a toothpick in acetone and then just kind of cleaned it up really really quickly so 100% acetone will remove any of the marker um, little mistakes that you may find so when you're peeling back the tree again it looks so pretty and if it has any little hiccups on it just take your toothpick acetone dip it in acetone and again just brush it off and it will it comes right off with no problems I wanted to show you how I'm going to be gifting them, unwrapping them. So these little Andy's chocolates, Werther's Originals, Ferrero Rocher, Lindor chocolate, they're all available at the Dollar Tree. So what I'm taking is a loop bag. They have the clear loop bags, some tissue paper. I'm going to stuff the mug with some tissue paper and then fill it in with some goodies. One of them is going to go um, with a gift card. So I'm just going to put a gift card in the mug. And another one's going to be placed on top of one of the little Pentatoni um, baked cakes so there if you just plop the mug right into the loop bag it fits perfectly and then you can just tie it with a little piece of string or a ribbon and there you go you can add a little gift tag to it and it's all set and ready to go Now for this next one, I wanted to use cellophane, so I bought a roll from the Dollar Tree. It's just a transparent wrap and then um, some ribbon. So I'm choosing the gold that goes with the gold theme. Um, and you're going to lay your cellophane nice and flat. Uh, you're going to need a nice big piece. You're going to put your pentatoni on, on top of it. And then you're going to put your mug and measure out. Both sides are going to come up straight and way past the mug so that you have nice... Um, bunched up at the top that you can put a nice ribbon around and it's just going to look really really elegant so the best way to wrap it is actually to position your item at, on top of it of the cellophane but in a diamond shape so then you'll take one corner bring it up another corner and all four corners will meet in the center and then you're just going to bundle it all up with your hands if you have an extra pair of hands to help you with this next step which is wrapping the ribbon around then definitely borrow someone else but I didn't have that so I took some tape and this is temporary fix I just wrapped a little piece of tape around it to hold it in place because cellophane is quite um, it'll come apart really quick but it actually will hold for a few seconds as well so then I took my ribbon and tied it nice and tight and that is it it's complete and I just absolutely love this I think it's such a great little gift and um, I hope that you enjoyed it as well Thank you so much for watching and until the next DIY or haul, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye everyone.